theory will take you only so far. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Secret laboratory. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. Oppenheimer's story is a very, very paradoxical tale. And that's the kind of material that I'm always interested in. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Trying to bring the audience to an understanding of why people have done the things they've done. Film, I think, is uniquely suited to pulling an audience into a subjective experience. The way a film camera records light onto its emulsion, that's as close as you can get to the way the eye sees. Chris and myself, we want to shoot film. We also want to finish the film on film, which basically means we have to figure out ways to do these kind of things in camera. We wanted to shoot them on large format for the immersive quality. And so for the black and white sequences, I really didn't like the idea of using a lesser format. And spoke to Hoyter and the people at Kodak about, could we shoot large format black and white film? How are we gonna do it? Because 65 millimeter black and white was a format that didn't exist. Kodak really stepped up to the challenge and they said, let us try to do it. At some point they had some sort of prototypal film stock for us. We were able to test large format black and white, put it up on a giant screen and have a look at it. And the results were just magical and inspiring. Film gives you a depth to the image. I find inherently more emotionally powerful, more accessible. It's a combination of that craftsmanship and that effort. It gets thrown up on a gigantic screen and the moment you watch it, it's very evident. You cannot compare it to anything. This is about giving the audience the experience of being at some of the most important moments in the 20th century. And film is the best format to do that. The world will remember this day.